Hi, this is Rickard from MI6 Sweden again. The 10th James Bond film was the first Bond film that didn't feature the cooperation of Harry Saltzman and Albert R. Broccoli. Saltzman had gotten into economic difficulties and had to sell his part in Danjak Productions. This resulted in a long legal battle and The Spy Who Loved Me was delayed for three years. But the problems didn't stop there. Broccoli had a legal dispute with Ian Fleming estate also. They couldn't use any of the Fleming stories and they couldn't use Blofeld or Spectre since the earlier dispute with Kevin McClory. So they made a deal with the Fleming estate that they could use the name of a Fleming novel but nothing more. So they made a smart move, move and chose a novel that they couldn't been able to use the story f- for anyway. This is the third film directed by Lewis Gilbert. Some critics call it You Only Live Twice Underwater, and that may be so since the movie has some similarities, but this is in my opinion one of the best James Bond movies ever produced. Moore is now comfortable in the role, the script isn't written for Connery anymore, and the film has an even pace, and Roger Moore's new car, the Lotus Esprit, is superb. Short recap of the story. Submarines is disappearing without a trace. The Russians blame the Americans, and the Americans blame the Russians. Bond teams up with the Russian female agent played by Barbara Bush. The leads take them to Karl Stromberg, one of the richest men in the world. Stromberg, who is played by Kurt Jurgens, wants to create a new and beautiful world under the seas, while the nuclear powers kill each other off up on the surface. This is the first film that we see Richard Keel as Jaws. When talking about the cast, in my personal opinion, I think that they should have casted Carolyn Monroe as Triple X. She now plays a Stromberg henchwoman, but I think she would have been a great Triple X. The reviews for this film was great, and it did well at the box office. More is Bond was one of the more positive reviews that came out. Well, okay, my friends, let's go into the dungeon once again. And this time we will look at my collection surrounding the spy who loved me. This is a very big collection, so it didn't fit into one of the glass cabinets. But uh, I don't know where to start. Uh, okay, we start at the top. Here we have a beautiful autographed photo. Sue Warner. Uh, from the pre-credits. And here we have Mr. Max Calba with the microfilm. I have a copy of the microfilm. We will come to that a bit later. And of course, I have a lot of these cars. The Lotus Esprit. This is a Hot Wheel. And uh, here we have from the Bond collection, the Kawasaki 900 motorcycle. The chase is Bond. Here we have an original uh, from 1977, Corgi. Uh, the box is a bit banged up, but it's still beautiful. Here we have a Corgi Junior. We have from the Bond collection, without box. I'm looking for one with box, with the box. And here we have uh, also one. And two <laughs> from Corgi, 1977 models. Uh, this has uh, been, uh, this has stood the time quite well because what happens with these Corgis is that the wings is made of plastic and it gets yellow if you uh, if you have it out in the sun. So these models uh, and also that one has done quite well. Here's a Corgi Junior with a special box. 
And of course I have a little bigger one. This is the underwater one from Auto Art. Uh, and this is the normal one. These are in uh, 118 scale. 118 scale. This one is quite beautiful. Uh, everything is just like it was in the movie. Uh, even with the rocket going out through the roof and, and so on. And also this one is quite beautiful. Okay, I have some uh, action figures. Uh, these are from uh, Exclusive Entertainment. Spy Who Loved Me. Here we have Roger Moore with his parachute and a gun. And here we have Jaws. And also Triple X Major Anasava. We have um, some uh, toys from 1977 ID tags. James Bond ID tags. Uh, in blister pack we have a submachine gun James Bond submachine gun 007 never unpacked and we have the Bond watch here in the corner James Bond watch also a toy from 1977 um, here we have uh, Richard Keel signed uh, Lotus Esprit from John Lightning. I have a lot of things signed by Richard Keel because I, I met the guy and <laughs> I had him signed everything I got almost and uh, I met him a couple of times. Uh, so we'll go down here and we have one more. Richard Keel has Jaws. Beautiful signed photo. We have Carolyn Monroe as Naomi. Also signed. It's a pity that this is the Cybercourt Jorgens also. I have a top secret file with uh, photos of Bond's contacts, uh, a copy of the Ranger position, the U-boat Ranger uh, that Bond lays on, on the screen. We have a, an air ticket, a boarding pass to Cairo for Mr. James Bond, first class, from London. And we have his mission assignment here. Uh, and here we have the, the copy of the microfilm I talked about. It's a Minolta. I don't know if you, maybe you can see that Minolta there. Minolta film roll. Okay, let's go on. Uh, here we have one more. Uh, car and this one uh, sounds I don't know if that... oh okay press that this one And if I press the first button, the car will start and drive off quite fast. Here we have a business card, Carl Stromberg, Atlantis Marine Laboratory. And we also have a business card for the Stromberg shipping lines. Uh, and of course, I have the Atlantis. This is quite big. If you look at my hand, I will take do like this and you will see how big it is. This is quite big, Atlantis copy. This is, I'm very proud of this one. And I have uh, three U-boats. I know that they were in the Liparius, but I thought they would do quite nice here. Uh, I'm thinking of getting a, a ship and uh, cut open the, the front and uh, have the submarines fitted inside later on, but not now. Okay, we will go on. Uh, Carolyn Monroe. 
She has also signed a lot of my things. Sorry about the glance. I don't know if I can make that better. One more yours. Here is Michael Billington and also Barbara Bush, double signed. And this one I'm very proud of. It's a picture of Barbara Bush, Roger Moore, and Cabo Broccoli, and it's triple signed. Barbara, Roger, and Cabe. Uh, this is interesting because uh, the only autograph I know is real on this one is Cabe's because uh, I was in England and uh, met up with a guy and uh, he signed this one uh, for a friend of mine. And uh, he gave it to me. And then uh, uh, the other two autographs were already on the photo. But if you look at them close up, uh, you see that they are written on the photo. So they are not printed. Okay. Let's go over here. We have a record. Music by Marvin Hamlish. This one. Uh, Spy Who Loved Me record. You can fold this one open and uh, it's beautiful inside. But now it's in plastic, so I won't do that. And if we go over here, we have uh, this one I know is for real because all these autographs I've collected myself. Richard Keel, once again, yours on the box. Inside the box, Roger Moore and Bob Rabash uh, at three different times with three different pens. Uh, this one is uh, is uh, quite funny. I, I, this is unique because if I turn this helicopter over, this is a helicopter from uh, The Spy Who Loved Me. We have here Carolyn Monroe's autograph. Um, this is uh, uh, signed in a haste and uh, uh, when I got home, I took, I opened the case and saw that she had signed my helicopter upside down. Uh, this isn't a nice way to uh, to have it. So I wanted the autograph to be right. So next time when I when I saw that Carolyn Monroe did autographs, I went there and she wrote this: "Sorry," and on the heart, and then Carolyn Monroe, Naomi, 007. <laughs> So I have this one double signed by Carolyn Monroe. One, uh, so I can display this this one uh, uh, upright and one upside down. Well, this was my little uh, collection of things uh, surrounding this movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. Next time, a bond will go to space in Moonraker. So, uh, see you when I uh, do that movie. And I hope you like this one. I hope you like, I hope you subscribe. And I hope you give thumbs up and so on and so on. And share, of course. Share with other Bond fans. This is Rickard from MI6 Sweden, signing off. Bye for now.